Namaste, this is Radha Paudel, uh, founder president of Exonox Nepal and activist for Tulo Transformation in Nepal. Particularly in the marginalized areas, they don't have enough clothes, even in the minus 20 degrees Celsius or two, 2 to 3 feet snowing. That really hurt me so much. And I, tr I try to lobby and advocate with other organizations to those who are working. But it, this is not a priority for any kind of organization. Recycle means we collected the cloths and reprocess like resizing, cleaning, ironing, labeling, and redistributing, sending the clothes in our working areas. And um, then we have the volunteers where we are working like Joomla, Kalikot, um, the women themselves start to become a business woman and they start the shop. There is a very high demand in the community. There is an indigenous practice in Nepal, which means uh, mutual love and respect beyond marriage and blood. I want to put the outlet in, in Kathmandu, so we can sell um, the cloths and the byproduct like bags, toys, tea mats, everything people can enjoy. We will get the benefit. Uh, which uh, the benefit we can use for the transportation cost to dispatch the clothes in the rural areas of the country. And second thing, I want to see the clothes across the country, 75 districts of the country. Personally, I'm the fan of the Professor Mohamed Dinesh, who is the founder of the social business. I really like his ideas, the seven principles. So uh, we, we consulted in the team and we, we converted it into the business. So nowadays people are buying and then without uh, breaking their dignity, their self-confidence. And today the rural women start to become a business woman. So we want to see the many business women, many women leaders in the grassroots level. That is why we applied the social business principles in Mithya Recycle Center. It is very challenging by many ways. First, they, they don't get the respect as men get. And second, the resources. And of course, they do not have the very good network and market. And I strongly recommend it to all students, to all development workers, please think differently. How many days we run the project on the basis of the donors, on the basis of the charity? Change is possible and possible from you guys. Um, my mom and my dad got so much uh, discrimination in the village and I myself uh, experienced the discrimination in school, in college, in work, everywhere. So I always think, how can we represent the people who are in the bottom? This organization and myself are able to represent their voice. That gives me a very deep level of energy and we are here.